Batman. <clears throat> Batman. Bruce. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times any version of Batman died. We won't include times he faked his death, but we'll count Batman who expire and get resurrected later. We'll also throw up the bat spoiler signal before we begin. Are we done with your bad stand up routine? Almost. But you always gotta end on your best joke. Number 10 Dying Beside the Joker, Batman Volume 2, Issue 40. In many stories, there are hints that the clown and the Dark Knight will die side by side. Perhaps you'll kill me. Perhaps I'll kill you. Perhaps sooner, perhaps later. You know that, don't you? That ominous premonition came true in the Batman Endgame storyline. After Joker releases a contagious toxin in Gotham, Bruce dives underneath the city to get a healing substance. Unfortunately, the villain triggers an underground explosion and fights the hero. The two get into a brutal fight that ends with both of them clinging to life. Silly goose, it's all a joke. Everything anybody's ever valued or struggled for, it's monstrous. Why can't you see the funny side? Batman then uses his remaining strength to ensure that Joker doesn't heal and that the cure gets to the surface. Unable to escape the cave-in, he dies next to the clown. Fortunately, the healing substance later brings Bruce back to life without memories of his Batman career. We guess that's the price of cheating death. I'm not a hero. I don't have that kind of courage. Your courage seems to have gone missing with your memory of the bat. Number 9. The Dark Knight Loses His Head Countdown to Final Crisis 13 Earth-51's Batman had no problem killing his enemies. I've lost track of how many people I've killed. The Bruce I knew had a code. You start with a code. Not only did he personally slay his version of the Joker, but he made it his mission to put every supervillain he saw into the ground. So, when this trigger-happy Batman saw an alternate version of the clown, the hero swooped in to collect another kill. But this Bruce variant didn't know that the villainous Ultraman was watching. Everybody does what we say, or else. You're bluffing. The evil super being instantly swooped down and stopped Batman with one punch to the head. While we can't show it here, trust us when we say that Ultraman didn't hold back his super strength. In the wake of Batman's death, a nearby Jason Todd follows in his twisted mentor's footsteps and kills the Joker. Execution was in order, carried out by me. Number 8. Resisting Superman to the End Superman Red Sun Game's over, Batman. You don't understand at all, do you? It may be a game to you, but not to me. There was a version of Batman that spent his childhood watching his parents die in a Russian gulag. When this bitter boy grew up, he became a rebel who wished to topple the government that imprisoned his family. After a Soviet version of Superman took over, Batman tried to capture and slay the Kryptonian. But Wonder Woman eventually thwarts the Dark Knight's plan. Superman was ready to retaliate by brainwashing Batman. Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm going to help you. Just a few hours of brain surgery, and then a nice job in a Moscow laundry for you. Rather than be captured, this Dark Knight detonated a bomb that claimed his own life. While the explosion doesn't harm Superman, it does have another effect. The fatal lengths Batman went to avoid capture made it impossible for Wonder Woman to look at the Kryptonian the same way. I couldn't let you die, Superman. But I can no longer call myself. Your friend. Number 7. Assassinated by AI. Batman Urban Legends, issue number 7. <coughs> Don't get up, Bruce. <coughs> it's just an old friend come by to say hello. Years after Bruce became too old to continue on as the Dark Knight, he passed the mantle on to the young Terry McGinnis. Although the two worked well together, they often butted heads. But all of the bitterness between them was forgotten when Terry found a dying Bruce in the Batcave. Under <laughs> table. <laughs> the former Batman uses his final words to encourage the new Dark Knight to uphold the honor of the mantle. And when Terry finds Bruce's AI killer, 
the young hero decides to spare the new villain's life. The original Batman is ultimately able to rest easy because he knew that the next Dark Knight would continue to protect Gotham. It's not Batman that makes you worthwhile. It's the other way around. Never tell yourself anything different. Thanks. Number 6. Put Down by Alfred. Deceased. Number 2. Darkseid usually wants to get his hands on the anti-life equation so he can take away everyone's free will. Anti-life is found, Assad, and we will stop at nothing to possess it. In one reality, his pursuit of this formula accidentally caused a techno-organic version of a zombie virus to spread across the universe. Even heroes like Nightwing and Tim Drake aren't immune to the spread. After they get infected, they both bite Batman. The Dark Knight quickly realizes that the virus will completely consume him too. It won't kill you. Oops. <laughs> Where is the cure? Who has it? Before he turns into a mindless zombie, Batman gives his allies advice on how to handle the crisis. And shortly after the Dark Knight turns, his loyal butler Alfred puts him down. Batman's sacrifice inspires his son Damien to step up and save the world from this terrible virus. They've all been infected. No one's left. Number 5. Sacrificing himself to stop parademons. Earth 2, Issue 1. You better run! No. They're assembling, waiting for whoever's behind this to launch the attack. When an army of parademons arrived on Earth, Wonder Woman, Superman, and Batman rose to stop the invasion. The Dark Knight came up with a plan to stop the evil aliens by planting a virus in a crucial enemy tower. I'll see to it that your world will be just another that has fallen to dark side. And what if you never see it? As Batman made his way to the vital location, both Wonder Woman and Superman were killed. Just when it seemed like the Dark Knight would be the only living member of the trio, he told his daughter Helena that he wouldn't survive the mission. There's barely any time to process this loss before the tower explodes and kills Batman. Fortunately, when the smoke clears, the parademons fall and the Earth gets a second chance. You know what you have to do, mate. Clear the board. Start again. Number 4. Expiring as a Vampire Batman Crimson Mist Destroy me, Jean. You must change our orbit. Orbit? After the Dark Knight got turned into a vampire, he tried to fight crime while keeping his impulses in check. But as soon as he lost control and drained the Joker of blood, Batman decided to let himself get staked in the heart. In a surprising twist, this drastic act just put him into a deep sleep until Alfred revived him to fight crime again. Batman tried once more to balance crime fighting with his bloodthirst. As much as I try, I can't suppress it. So instead, I'll feed it, and I know just where to find a more satisfying meal. Upon realizing that he'd lose control again, he willingly embraced the sunlight and burnt to a crisp. Although this Dark Knight committed some grim acts, his final deed prevented the world from being overrun by a horde of vampires. Number 3. Wounded During War Justice League – The Flashpoint Paradox Don't worry, Batman. I'll stop the blood flow. You'll be as good as new. Don't be stupid, Alan. Technically, the film adaptation of a legendary Flash story features two Batman deaths. After the speedster alters the timeline running to the past, a young Bruce Wayne dies in Crime Alley. This dark incident inspired Thomas Wayne to become Batman. Years after this Dark Knight became infamous, he was recruited to help stop a war between Atlanteans and Amazons. During the heat of battle, this Batman receives a fatal wound from Ocean Master. Batman and Grifter, the boy idiot. Take your team up the right flank. <laughs> What makes this death stand out is what the Dark Knight accomplishes after getting injured. With the last of his strength, Batman shoots the sinister reverse Flash. After killing this villain, Flash is able to run back in time, fix the world, and deliver a message from Thomas to Bruce. You're one hell of a messenger. Thank you. Number 2. Destroying the Lazarus Pit – Gotham Knights In the event of my death at the hands of Crazy Quilt, 
Seriously? The 2022 DC video game begins with Batman fighting the nearly immortal Ra's al Ghul in the Batcave. After the supervillain pledges to kill the Dark Knight's family, Bruce triggers an explosion that ends his life and eliminates the supervillain. I know you have to. I'm sorry it's come to this. After the rest of the Bat family arrives in Gotham to fight the evil Court of Owls group, players are hit with a shocking twist. It turned out that Talia al Ghul brought Bruce back to life with a magical Lazarus pit. But before his family can celebrate, the Court of Owls arrives to claim the immortality pool for themselves. To prevent the evil alliance from living forever, Bruce sacrifices his life again to destroy the Lazarus pit and keep his family safe. Because I won't let you. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, repeatedly eliminated by Emperor Joker. Various realities. Nice try, Joker. Ah! What would the Joker do if he was given godlike power? In multiple realities, the clown uses his virtually limitless fifth dimensional abilities to kill Batman in a variety of cruel and twisted ways. After each death, the Joker resurrects his longtime enemy so he can find another painful way to slay the Dark Knight. In one reality, Batman is so traumatized by his many deaths that he had to get his memories erased just to keep going. There's no telling how many times Joker killed the Dark Knight after he became the Emperor. It's safe to say that the clown is the only villain that turned the idea of slaying Batman from a nigh impossible task into a sick game he loved to play. I can't take it anymore, Joker. Put me out of my misery. There's nothing more you can do to me. Except... Which Batman death shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments below. I mean, if you want some advice on being dead, I got you covered. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.